Hello. Um, over the years, I've realized that I've allowed myself to be scammed or I've scammed myself into thinking that I need heaps of things that I don't really need. And I knew that I didn't really want to become sort of a preach, a preacher on YouTube and just make preachy videos. But all like the 600 YouTube videos I watch a day, I realize that a lot of them have a, whether they mean to or not, have a very materialist feeling about them. Whether it's like a haul or a review or a monthly favorite sort of thing. It's all about consuming and getting new products and it's like I watch a YouTuber and she's been making videos for like a bajillion, like a really long time and she's just being like, oh this new mascara, this new foundation, this new like highlighter and it's like you really only need one, like you just get one and if it works then like you don't need to keep trying like a hundred new ones. And last night at like 2am I wrote, I kind of like wrote a huge list of just thing. the title says things I got scammed into thinking I needed and I put a line under I because this is all about me, like I'm not trying to say that you don't need these things but I felt like these things were not things that I needed, for me specifically and I'm not trying to change like your self-concept or trying to mess with your self-concept, these are really just I can really only speak for myself, is what I'm saying. First thing I have is a hundred different products. <laughs> That's what it says, a hundred different products. So you, I've realized that like you don't need like shampoo and body wash and hand wash. You really just need like one soap. You just need one, like you just need one wash. I'm still experimenting with like finding that one wash, but I just thought it was, I was like, it's kind of excessive and it doesn't make sense to just have hundred different products that all claim to do the same thing so I'm trying to find a nice shampoo that is cheap and like works for my hair and just use it for everything <laughs> because like I don't need I don't like have like specialist skin I don't have special hair needs I have like a like my body is really low maintenance so I don't need heaps of products moisturizers and serums I was watching a lot of YouTube videos about serums and I, I can't, and like essential oils and things like that and I scammed myself into buying eye serum and rosehip oil. Like I'm so young, I don't need eye serum. Like I'm 20 years old, I don't need eye serum. Um, so I used up the whole eye serum really fast because I used it as a moisturizer for my whole face because I was trying to get rid of it. The oils, the rosehip oil that I have, I've been trying to use it as like an oil cleanser. Like I'm just trying to get rid of it because I know that I don't need it. Um, but right now the only moisturizer I have is I have one moisturizer and that's cocoa butter. Actually I have it right here. It's this cocoa butter uh, bio oil. I also have bio oil and I don't know why because like I don't have stretch marks, like I have scars on my body. But it's just like, I'm young, like, give, I'm just trying to give my body a chance to like bounce back before I start like investing in, in products. And I'm really just trying to distance myself from the idea that I need these specific products. More is mascara and eyebrow gel. I had like a clear eyebrow gel and I was just like, why? Why do I have that? Now I have one. I have a mascara and I use it as eyebrow, like an eyebrow shaper as well. And the same thing is for highlighter. I never owned a highlighter. Um, I only use Paw Paw ointment, which I keep in this little, like, lolly. This, um, I think it had mints in it, like, a hundred years ago. But, um, I just have, I just squeezed in, because my sister had, like, a huge tub of Paw Paw cream, so I just, like, stole some and stuck it in here. And this has lasted me so long. And I use it as like lip balm, I use it on like if I have really dry skin patches and I use it as highlighter and I've literally had people try to fight me, be like no you have real highlighter on, I can see the glitter and I'm like there's no glitter, it's just, it's just purple cream. Um, 
And what I'm saying is like you don't have to get purple cream. If you want to like kind of take my advice, you don't have to get the specific mascara that I'm using. You don't have to get the specific purple cream I'm using. You can literally use any lip balm. You can use any mascara. What else? Toothpaste. This is kind of like you don't need to go out and buy this stuff. Like I made my own toothpaste just with the um, like trashes for tosses recipe. And I got a deodorant, like a deodorant bar and it works. Like it's just, you don't need to have all these industrial products. You can make your own or you can get like simplified versions of it. And I honestly, I know it doesn't really make a big difference to like the well-being of the universe, but it makes me feel good. Like I feel like I'm doing a good thing. Okay, so that's the, the end for products. Um, the next one I have is brands and clothes. And this is just clothes in general. I used to have so many clothes and over the past year I've kind of cut down all my clothes to probably about half I've halved my amount of clothes and I didn't sell any of them I gave them all away when I say clothes it's like don't get um buy into trends and when trends come around like of course you want to stay you want to feel good about yourself and you want to feel like included but instead of going out and buying new clothes you can kind of step back and look at your wardrobe and see what you already have because I like runway shows and um, watch runway shows and I would be get inspiration from them and I can look at my wardrobe because if I'm attracted to that sort of style I already have clothes that I can kind of emulate a vibe from that and I, it makes me feel a lot better about what I already have and it makes me feel like I'm putting more value into what I already have and buying really expensive brand names like I have a rule is that you can buy something that's really expensive but that thing that you buy from a, like a fancy brand has to be really unique not like I'm saying style wise like you can't get it anywhere else like if it's just like a little black bag with a logo on it don't get it because you can find another little black bag anywhere but if it's like a really interesting design then I think it's worth it any brand that is making you think that what they have is like unique and special they're scamming you you don't need it. You don't need it. Unless it's like super unique. I think I've only ever bought like one thing that was really, really unique from a really fancy store. And you, it's something you can't get anywhere else. Like it's from that designer, you can't get it anywhere else. Going past materialistic things, things that I got scammed into thinking I needed was an opinion. <laughs> you don't need an opinion on everything. You can literally just chill and be chill and have a good time this is like a really broad statement obviously you don't need to know everything you know for outward appearances of being smart you can just like save yourself and like just know what you need for yourself because i used to read like a hundred books because and they were all stupid books um like dead white men writers like not 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 like important books that were important to me you don't need to have a big intellect to be valuable you don't need to read heaps of books to be valuable and now I'm kind of at peace with myself I'm like I don't know how to read wish I knew but uh, like you don't uh, what else do I have sentimental shit and crap and bras this is just this you can get an idea that this list I really wrote at like 2 a.m. Um, and with implementing these sort of practices and ideas of releasing myself from thinking I needed all of these things. It was a really gradual process for me and obviously it's still going. It was usually, I would implement kind of half-heartedly and then I would step away and then I would come back. Like it took me like three or four tries of emptying my wardrobe to really get it down to like what I was really using, what I really liked. Um, you don't have to change everything about yourself. There's no, no hurt in just having a new outlook on things and having a new perspective and trying to reassess and reevaluate how you live your life because I have fun. I'm just trying to have fun. I'm just trying to have a good time. Honestly, that's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to have a good time and have more space for myself mentally and emotionally and just really try to reflect on who I am and try to get to know myself better and like myself more as a person and not just fill my life with things. Um, I would never call myself a minimalist even though I watch like 600 minimalist videos a day and I really love them even though I would never be like that. But I still think 
it's really interesting to reevaluate what material things mean to you and like what things mean to you. I don't even feel like I'm making sense anymore. I don't even think I'm making any damn sense. I think you can really just put any words in any order. Um, if any of this made sense to you, thank you for understanding me. Fuck. <laughs>